Hey, what's up, everyone? We are back here with Royal Revolt 2, a free-to-play tower defense game for the iOS, Android, and Windows 8 devices. So we're going to do some elite level raids here. We're at 3,400, almost 3,500 trophies. You can pull up the leaderboards over here. We've been hovering uh, right around 35, 36, 3,700 trophies with our defense. You can actually attack anyone you want on the leaderboards at any given time. You can also search for a player on the leaderboards. What we're going to do is we're just going to use the random matchmaking here. We're going to go in and look for gold. Use the gold to upgrade your towers and your defenses. So 150,000 is not too much. This one is a little bit better, 204,000. We'll go after this one. And it's always fun having just a random opponent. So you have skills and spells for your hero. You can equip different units to summon out. It's a very, very fun free-to-play app again for your mobile device. So you have your spells here on the right. And then you have your units on the left. And again, this is all customizable. You can put whatever units you want down there, whatever spells you want over here on the right. And you're going through, and if you ever played a tower defense game, that's what this is at the core. Uh, you're trying to beat someone else's tower defense design that they've made. So you can see we're going fairly easily in here. Uh, we have a heal spell on. We have Blade Storm and Sonic Blast which are the two last spells that you get and arguably the most powerful spells in the game. The purple Bladestorm spell is really, really effective against taking out troops and also the barricades and barriers. And then the red Sonic Blast spell over here on the far right is just a beast and destroys towers pretty much like it's nothing. You will notice there's a timer, so we only have 1 minute and 12 seconds now left to actually beat the entire base. So you are racing against the clock. The clock is pretty much your worst enemy. We're going to sit back here. Your hero actually regenerates HP when nothing else is attacking it. So you'll notice that the HP bar above him is slowly going up. And now we've got to the final, the castle gate here. And this thing can do a lot of damage. And this is where all the opponent's troops actually spawn out. So you can see a wave right there just came out. And now we're able to take them down with the spells. They were able to kill my mummy though. And you'll see the HP gauge of the castle gate right there going down. We're going to win this fight fairly easy with a few seconds left. We're going to come back just a little bit and let our troops, our reinforcement troops, that you can see up here, that are slowly making their way up. They're going to kill more of the defenses that we left standing back there. Now we're going to go up there and cast one final spell to blow down the gates. You're going to get a percentage point of completion here. So we're going to get probably like 95% or so. We end up getting 98%, which is almost everything. It means we missed one or two towers. And the more percentage points you get, the more gold you get out of the castle, and the more trophies, and also the more medals that you get. Definitely an extremely fun game to play. Fast-paced, action-oriented. Each battle is roughly two to three minutes long because of that time crunch. You do have a currency called food to actually attack. You'll notice here it costs 180 food to attack. Again, 181,000 in gold. It's a decent amount. Um, we'll go ahead and just stack this one for shits and giggles. You do want to try and look for bases that have over 200,000 in gold uh, when you get to the you know the elite levels here. Everything else kind of isn't worth really going after. 
Because there's also the chance that you actually fail and die and you do not beat the base. And then when that happens, you don't really make any money and you waste all your food. So one of the best tactics to use in this game is to just rush forward and let your reinforcement troops actually clean up the towers in the back there. Your hero and its spells can take down most of the towers by himself. But with the time crunch on the clock always clicking down, you do have to move quickly. You can't sit around and kill every little tower one by one with the little you know, hero just sitting there kind of pounding away. But you notice the hero does actually swing and slash at the beasts. This base has gone a little bit easier. We have a minute and 20 seconds left when we got to the castle gate up here. He's using a lot of ogres, these big slow creatures. And you'll notice that we can actually run circles around them and not take any damage because they haven't hit us. It's also touch based so you have complete control over your hero. You tell him exactly where to go by moving your finger on the touch screen. And we should have pulled back just a little bit to let our reinforcement troops kill everything. But we already had everything down. We got all three crowns, which means 100% victory. Now this is a little mini game afterwards. You get some extra bonus loot. If you pick the lucky chests, you can see we picked up almost 200,000 gold right there. go do one more battle and it does cost a little bit of gold to do this search over here you can actually just manually search through the leaderboards but this is a great reason to search through the random list you find huge amounts of gold sometimes and you can go and attack this person and win 600,000 gold and then we also have some equipment on our hero that will give us an extra boost of like 20 to 40 percent gold boost so we're gonna end up coming away with like 700 800,000 in gold if we can defeat him which it looked like we could. You never really know for sure as each base is different. There is literally like, you know, a million combinations of towers and units that you can throw in here and make your base your own. Some better than other. But yeah, there's just endless combinations that you can use. So you really never know what you're going up against until you actually have fought that person. And then even then so, the person can actually change his base whenever he wants. So if you fought, you know, fought me today and you come to fight me again tomorrow, my base can look completely different and have different troops, uh, you know, as my defensive units. So once you start getting into the top, like, top 100 players in the world, those guys are constantly changing their bases up making it so you never know what you're expecting when you're going in there. Because in this type of game, being predictable is a very, very big flaw. You don't want to have a predictable base. You don't want to be farmable. Again, they use a ladder system. So every trophy that I win... I'm actually stealing from another player. A lot of the spells, as you can see there, do damage over time. So you don't actually have to be right next to them to kill those guys. You just have to have the spell let them the spell hit them, and then it'll slowly do the damage over time. So here again, we'll pull back, let our reinforcement troops actually clean up the remaining towers.
and that will go ahead and finish the fight right there. So we missed a tower or two, so again, we're not going to get 100% this time. We ended up getting 98%, so you can see our gold boost pushed us up to 750,000 in gold. A very, very nice haul. Uh, it's very hard to find anything over like 400, 500,000 in gold. So that's going to be it. Check back for more Royal Revolt videos. And if you want any tips or tricks on how to play, check some of the old Let's Play series or the uh, tips and tricks videos. Or just leave me a comment down below and I'm here to help.